Hi, I'm Paul Tursley and this is a demo of PT Express Edit. You can use this script to easily search for and edit expressions throughout your project. Um, there are instructions in the download for how to install the script. Uh, I'm running on CS5 and for that I actually recommend running as a, a window rather than a dockable panel. Uh, you can run as either, um, but um, there are some kind of minor script bugs in CS5 that mean the progress bars might not update when you're doing a search. It's pretty minor, but um, I've installed it in the scripts folder and I'm going to run it by selecting it from the scripts menu. Uh, but like I said, you can run it both ways, so whichever you prefer. Now uh, we have uh, instructions, uh, there's some preferences that we'll talk about later, and links to the page on ascripts.com. So we have uh, search options here, um, options for saving presets, and uh, some buttons for applying uh, or fetching uh, expressions from your properties. So for this uh, demo, I've created a comp, which has uh, just got a couple of lights in it, and I've got a null layer with some slider control effects just set up for the uh, demo. So I'm going to create a um, new solid layer and make it 3D. And um, I've already got, uh, so this is just to show how you can use this to as a kind of a clipboard uh, and library for um, s saving your uh, expressions as presets. So uh, I've got a, um, a expression that I saved earlier uh, that I want to use for this. So I want to, to apply this to the uh, position property. So I just uh, select the um, property and hit add to timeline and that adds the expression directly to any selected properties. If you had multiple properties selected on multiple layers it would apply the expression to uh, all selected properties. So, And then as well as applying it from this panel uh, let's say we already had, uh, well let's add, a, um, let's add a simple wiggle expression here and uh, so if you had an expression that you wanted to save you could um, select that property and hit the fetch button and that would uh, grab that uh, expression and then you could save that as a, as a preset. So you can very quickly go through and build up this kind of library of uh, expressions. So uh, the way this um, works is uh, we've got some we've got some wiggles, we've got some randoms. The uh, position is reading values from the control layer here um, and uh, the way it's set up is if I duplicate this lots of times uh, you end up with this kind of quite cool kind of effect And um, these uh, controls up here let me um, specify so the distance apart um, and then the amount that they wiggle. So, so now I've got all these expressions applied. Let's uh, let's just do a search. So, uh, for the search options, we can search in uh, all comps, current comp, project selection. Project selection would be whatever's selected in your uh, project panel. Um, you can search for whether layers are on or off, whether expressions are on or off, or whether they have errors. Uh, you can also search for text in um, in the expressions, you, uh, for the, in the property names, lay names, comp names, and comments. Uh, so you can tag your comments and use that as a way to filter your searches. But I'm just going to do a search to find all the expressions in the project. So uh, in this case, it's saying 20 expressions found. Now, um, notice as I select each of these expressions, uh, they appear in this uh, text box up here, uh, ready for editing. So I can select one and just uh, change that value and hit apply, and um, you can see that's uh, applied it to that expression. So um, the reason uh, for that it uh, automatically appears up here is this auto fetch option. So when auto fetch is turned on, uh, it will automatically fetch uh, the selected expression up into the box here. Uh, if you, you can turn auto fetch off and then you will need to uh, hit the fetch button to fetch the, uh, prop, fetch the expression. So uh, fetch as you saw earlier has two uses. If there are no um, items selected in the list box then uh, and you have one property selected in your current comp then it will fetch from there otherwise it will fetch from uh, whatever selected in the list so um, now a reason that you might want that turned off like let's say um, let's say we edit this expression and um, 
and I'm going to break it. I'm going to put in something that's not going to work. So hit apply there and you can see, oops, I've broken that expression. Uh, but what's quite nice about Express Edit is you don't get that intrusive uh, error box coming up. It just kind of tells you nicely up here. Um, so, in, um, so if you select a expression that's got an error, it will show you the error here. Uh, you can actually go over to the other side and of the uh, uh, scroll bar here, and you'll get the uh, you can see the expression error that way. But it's kind of easier to read it up here. So um, now let's say we just want to grab that value and apply it to it there. So this is why we wouldn't want auto fetch turned on because when I select this expression, I don't want it to fetch that value. So I could select that one, turn off auto fetch, and then select that and hit apply. And now I've kind of restored that. Let's uh, set that back to the default as well. So, okay, so that's uh, fetch and auto fetch. Now, um, when working with these kind of expressions that uh, uh, read values from another layer, probably at some point everyone has accidentally done something like delete the control layer. So I'm going to just uh, delete that, and suddenly all the expressions that were reading that layer are now broken. Uh, even if I uh, undo to uh, restore that control layer, the expressions are still broken and um, you would have to go through and manually turn each one of those back on. So a nice thing about um, Express Edit is just the act of doing a search will go through, test your expressions, and if it finds any broken ones that can be fixed, it will turn them all back on. So you can see there, uh, 10 errors fixed. Um, and the reason for that is uh, in the preference there's this auto test expressions during search. So uh, there's some, you can read about that here. Um, basically it will check for uh, the expressions are valid and if it finds any of the, that have expression errors uh, but it can turn them back on then it will. Um, if you prefer turning, leaving that off so there's no danger of it affecting your project in any way you always have the option to uh, choose it manually, there's a test expressions option down here, so you can uh, test it that way instead. So, oops. okay, so looking at this, I'm thinking I kind of want to change the, the orientation wiggle, I want it to wiggle more. So, um, Rather than, I could kind of go through and select them all that way, but it's kind of a bit boring. Um, I'm going to search for the orientation property and do another search. Uh, so it just shows me all the um, expressions on orientation properties. I can just select all of those and think, okay, let's change that. Okay, and then have a look at the result. So that's all kind of rotating a bit more. Cool. Um, or I could decide, well, actually, eh, maybe I, I didn't want that rotation at all. I could, um, I'll, I'll disable them. Uh, in fact, no, I don't want them at all. I'll, I'll remove them. I'll remove the expressions. Uh, so uh, now, if I, if I did a search, there's no, there are no orient expressions. Uh, there are just the, um, just the ones on the position property left. So. Uh, as you can see, very quick for um, editing your expressions. So let's talk about some of the uh, search options. So, sorry, the uh, preference options. So uh, we have uh, control for edit text height. The um, the height here is kind of pretty pretty generous already. But uh, if you want uh, even more room for your expressions, uh, you can uh, increase that. Uh, you'll need to restart the script, uh, but then it will open with a, a bigger uh, expression edit box. There's, uh, it uh, has an option for limiting the max number of search results, uh, which is by default set to 500. Uh, you can put in zero for no limit. Um, I've uh, tried this on projects that have thousands of expressions and it will show them all to you in a list, but it will take some time to do it. So you would be better off probably um, filtering your search options to uh, so you're not trying to look at thousands of expressions. Uh, assuming your project has a thousands of expressions in it to start with. Um, then we have this uh, allow lock layers to be edited. So um, by default, let's um, let's lock this layer here 
and uh, I'm just going to re refresh this list. Also, like if you make a change uh, or do an undo that changes your expression, you can choose this uh, refresh list and it will update these, um, these values. So we can see that it's, uh, this layer is locked. So uh, if I select that and um, let's say I wanted to change this to uh, 1 and hit apply, um, we get this warning, one or more expressions was on a locked layer and has not been changed. Uh, so it says um, to edit these expressions, turn on allow locked layers to be edited. So go into the uh, preferences and turn on allow locked layers to be edited and then uh, well, let's so you can see we made that change there, but if I fetch, you'll see that it's not actually changed. It's uh, it's still not point uh, five. But let's put in one and hit apply, and now even though the layer is locked, it's still applied that expression. Um, so uh, that's the end of my demo. So I hope you like ExpressEdit. Thanks for watching.